So about nine weeks ago, we told you of our plans for the first half of this year. Six rooms to finish before June. And finally, we have the first room finished. Come up with me and let's take a look. So the hallway is the first room to finish. Now this room didn't actually take much to finish it. It certainly didn't take much money. The most that we spent out in this room was obviously doing the beams, the ceilings, treating the ceilings with the woodworm and um, termite treatment. And then obviously the furniture, but everything else has been reutilized. I'm so pleased that Lee was able to get the lights working the two lanterns because they are just beautiful and it's just nice to reuse like things we've found now something you haven't seen before is this old iron that was hidden somewhere in one of the barns and it's still working it's a paraffin iron charlene cleaned it up and uh yeah it's just a lovely piece to be able to put out and uh display we've got our old books some of our old books here and uh these paintings that you see up here. Now we know that our predecessor's mother was a painter and uh, we have lots and lots of her paintings up in the attic. But these two I particularly fell in love with. And they were actually found, all of the paintings, with this old paint box that used to, we gather, be her paint box. So again, I just think it's really nice that we put that out. And then all the pictures that were found up on the wall, just reutilizing stuff that was already here the old posting table and obviously curtains from our friend John, the window that we just revamped, reglazed, bit of paintwork. And I think the room has come out superbly. I think it's a beautiful entrance into apartment four. And with the old furniture, you know, especially this piece that I absolutely adore that we found, it holds all my linen in here. So all my spare linen in each apartment has a different compartment within this unit and then the wardrobe that Ted revamped for me and changed inside that so now I can keep in there my hoover, my dustpan and brush, all my extra cleaning stuff so I'm not having to bring it up from downstairs, take it back down. I've got a spare set of everything to do my changeovers on this floor. And then the last final thing, the bread box. Julie and Steve Baines, thank you so much for giving us this bread box that you found at your place and we've um, utilised well, it. It's arrived. Right, so that is the end of our tour of the hallway. Um, first room finished out of six. We do have another five to finish by June, so it's not very long. But anyway, thank you Julie and Steve Baines for the bread box. I've got to go now because I've got a little surprise. Come and have a look. It's a bit of fun. Oh, yeah. Ready? Yep. I think it's brilliant. Well, it's you know it, it's it's nearly thirty years old, and considering it's nearly thirty years old, I think Pete is 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 extraordinary how he got it working. I don't know if any of you have noticed on any of our aerial shots in the past, but this quad bike has been sitting over in the parkland, getting. Um, enclosed further and further and further by brambles it's and been, everything else. Yeah, engulfed. Yeah. Engulfed is a good word, yeah, by, by, the, by the foliage. Yeah, I think that it wanted to take it back to the land. Yeah. I don't know why, it wanted to reclaim it for some reason. And it was given to us by um, our good neighbours, um, the farmers, and um, it didn't work. It had no brake, no clutch, no um, battery, no, no nothing, did it? it no, just didn't no work. No brakes, no, no brakes, no, it just and, didn't work uh, at all, no. 
So Pete came around one day and said, do you mind if I take that home and uh, have a little play with it, have a little tinker and see if I can get it going? And we were like, no, please. And he's brought it back and uh, it's working. It's all working, yeah. He's uh, had it in his garage. He's worked really hard on it. So thank you so much, Pete. And this is a game changer because it means that we can put the trailer on the back of this. We don't have to keep taking the tractor out every time we want to go out in the parkland and take any tools with us or anything else. We could just take this. And if we're moving stuff from one place to another, this will come in really handy rather yeah. than having to use a tractor. We've just got to learn how to drive it now. <laughs> Shall I go get Charlene and we'll all have a go on it? Yeah, go on. All right, she's having a nap. We're going to go get Charlene. Let's have a little play. Okay. Shall I see if I can start it? Yeah, go on then. Have to a daily, daily ride on the quad. Yeah. It's airy. This is. <laughs> That's what I'm like. I can get on. Ready. Another week, Charlene. <laughs> and uh, you're going home tomorrow. No, I'm not. I'm hiding. Yeah, she's staying here. So sadly, it's come to the end of Charlene's visit. And uh, are you happy with what you've got done? Honestly, no. Oh. No, no. I didn't complete the list. Yeah, but the list is there for you to have a choice of what you want to do. Not to completely finish it. And we did have a slight problem. So the scrubland was scrubbed off of the list. Yeah. Because um, a dear friend Steve was going to come round and use his digger to help Charlene do it. But Steve has been rather poorly. Hope you get better soon, Steve. Yeah, well so done, Steve. we wasn't able to do the scrubland, which is a real shame because it's an area that I really wanted to get done. But... Mm. We'll have to work on that over the next couple of weeks before our first lot of guests come yeah, absolutely. and try and just clear it as much as we possibly can. But the rest of it, you did so yeah, well. Yeah, you did well. You did, did master of streaming. It's great, yeah, all the ivy off the back, um, uncovering that wonderful door. Yeah, painting. Um, yeah. All, all the painting, the painting looks superb. It you know, I, nice. I almost can tolerate the gate. Yeah. Almost tolerate the gate because it looks nice with the painting. Because it's shiny. It's shiny. I like shiny things. Shiny things. Shiny. <laughs> so, yeah. she's done so well and we're so happy because it just frees up a lot of airtime with all the stuff that Charlene's got done. So, it does. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. We love, having you. we love having you. We love having you. Is it your yeah. eighth or ninth? No, seventh, seventh time. Seventh, seventh time. Seventh time she's come. Oh. So, we can't be that bad, can we? Well, I Keep don't know. Keep coming back for more. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we've had a bit of fun on the quad. So um, this thing will, will be really good for us, won't it? It will, it Going will. Forward. Yeah, the more we, more we use it, the better we get at it and the more we don't get scared. I still get scared. <laughs> Not used to this sort of thing. So thank you to Pete for, the, uh, for oh, mending the cord for you, us. Pete. Thank you, Pete, for all you do. 
And uh, we'll be back again next time. So a goodbye from the three of us. Oh. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all next time. And the next time, Charlene will be seeing us. Oh, look, Hazy wants to get a good hug. Hazy, come and we. Oh, Hazy, come and have a hug. Bessie, you're going to come and have a hug. Bessie, come and have a hug. Get up. Up, up. Sure, it's not nice. Come on, up you get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hazy, you're going to have a hug. Hazy, come and 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 have a hug. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, take care, everyone. Don't forget, thumbs up, press the subscribe button and the like button. It doesn't cost a thing. And we will see you all again very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye. 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 See you later. Right. Let's, you can take us home now, James. Yeah, I just wonder if it starts. <laughs> <laughs> Little buggers have driven off without me.